I had always really wanted to go to Fresno. It even went back to my time at Kasner Junior High when uh, I was invited to a Fellowship for Christian Athletes event with one of my friends. Going there, I got a chance to meet Trent Dilfer, who was the quarterback at Fresno State, and that was an awesome experience because he showed me that you could be a man of God and still have a toughness about you. And from that moment on, I wanted to be a Bulldog, really, and I, I, there was never uh, a question about it. Really for me, it was staying home and being able to see my friends and family every game. I mean, I had probably like 70 or 80 family members from Bakersfield alone come up and friends come up and see me up there every weekend and going down the ramp and high-fiving all of them and getting to play in front of them. I remember playing against Oregon State and they tear the goalpost down and it's pretty much chaos on the field. David Carr and his Bulldogs and the biggest crowd ever to see a game storms the field. There's something special about being able to play in front of your friends and family like that and to have those experiences that you just can't get. I wouldn't have got when I was in Washington. Even at UCLA, it wouldn't have been the same. I think that was the reason why those last few years in Fresno were that special. With the uh, first choice in the 2002 NFL Draft, the Houston Texans select David Carr, quarterback from Fresno State. I remember that whole thing, just a whirlwind. And next thing I know, I'm waking up in Houston, and I'm, I was the number one pick, and uh, yeah, we started that whole journey. I got my family to go out there. They got to experience all that. They still talk about it. So for me, it was well worth it for those memories. They say it takes a village to raise a child. It does, it really does. And we had that. We had our our village around us, whether it was our church or our family. Um, and that's, so that's really important to me And because I saw how important it was you know, in, in my life growing up. That's the cool part for me is just how many kids can we help? How many kids can we get in here and give them the opportunity that we had? And, and then we go from there and see if we can help some of these kids you know, live their dream like we did. When you talk about football and you talk about achieving uh, certain things, I don't think about the Super Bowl ring that I have in my closet. I really don't even know where it is, and that's not a lie. I mean, it's in there somewhere, I hope. My kids haven't moved it. But I, I still go back to the Oregon State game. I still go back when we beat Colorado. I still see Bernard Berrien running a kickback against Wisconsin. I mean, that was special because uh, it, it, again, goes back to the community and they were all there and they were all a part of it. Uh, and to, to be uh, in, a, in a position to be able to be a top dog, I mean, that's just cool. I mean, I'll take anything from Fresno, honestly. And it's, a, it's all, it's scattered all over my house. I still have my, my only jersey that I have in my gym is the Fresno State jersey. I don't know if you've noticed that. But that's the only one that I have around here. And uh, it's just pretty cool to be able to be recognized by them and, you know, just be a part of it.